Good evening, guys. Hello. ¿Cómo están? Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. And today is Friday, right? It's Friday. <laughs> okay. And and at least tomorrow, probably you're going to work until uh, noon. Tal vez trabajan hasta media mañana o simplemente ya salieron de vacaciones. Así que that's wonderful. Okay. Eh, guys, uh, solo recuérdenme este, confirmar. Eh, Despuesito, ¿verdad? Cuando se hayan agregado todos, la parte del, de, porque creo que tenemos clase el lunes, fíjense, <risa> pero ya, ya vamos a ver eso, ¿ok? Y yo diciéndoles la semana pasada que no, perdón, la clase pasada que no. Ajá. Entonces, este rey, ajá, dijo no, no Monday. Ajá, pero no, ya no van a avisar, muy probablemente ahí en el chat ya les pusieron, ¿verdad? También algunas cosillas que les van a revisar eh, las notas, ¿verdad? De lo que de lo que llevamos con respecto a la plataforma. este Y también eh, se va a revisar la, la... Bueno, ahorita ya tenemos que haber terminado section 1 and 2, ¿verdad? Ya para hoy vamos con section number 3, ¿verdad? Así que if you can... Uh, work right as much as you can with the with the uh, with the platform even better así ya después ya queda con menos actividades para realizar okay so um last during the last class and i'm going to i'm going to share my screen give me one moment welcome welcome thank you for joining guys today Ahí está. Okay, so um, during this class, we have been working with uh, these pages, you know, that come from the, uh, from your book, from the, um, the manual that you have, right? So we practice all these, you know, uh, expressions, right, etc. Uh, these were the ones that we Hello. started during this good. week, right? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hi, good evening. Welcome, Byron. Thank you for joining. And then we moved uh, to the next topic, right? This 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 was a reading, verdad? And also we were talking about uh, infinitives, right? That was the, the the introduction that we had yesterday, right? So we talked about infinitives. There are some activities that we don't uh, do during class, right? But you can read them if you want, right? Uh, let me see. This is where we uh, stopped yesterday, right? We were talking about infinitives and you were able to create your sentences. Esto fue lo que estudiamos, you see? We did this exercise and also we uh, provided some sentences at the end, okay? Uh, also, we checked vocabulary, right, related to success, right? And there is where we stopped, okay? Y yo les dije, hoy vamos a ver una parte que es esta about given reasons, right? Given reasons, but to do that, we're going to practice the conversation first, okay? We're going to practice the conversation first and then we're going to go and check, you know, the rest of the information, right? So here we have a conversation between Mayumi and Ben, okay? I will read it first, I will read it first and then I'm going to ask for volunteers so you can read it, okay? So it says, what's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded. So it's easy to get in. Hmm, that's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. <laughs> Why do you think it's so popular? <clears throat> Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. All right, it's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask, right? So. Uh, he wanted to be invited to go to this nightclub, okay? So, let's go ahead and check the pronunciation of some words. Club, right? It's a club. What's your favorite club, right? Uh, fabulous, right? Fabulous. Um, crowded. 
crowded. Um, this one also packed. So full of people. Crowded is with a lot of people and packed is full of people, right? So lots of people in the same place, okay? Uh, fashionable, right? Fashionable. And I thought, right? I thought you'd never ask. So do you have questions about the vocabulary words, guys? Questions about the vocabulary words in the conversation? No? Okay, very good. Y si no, pues recordemos que tenemos ahí también la, la aplicación de Lingui, ¿verdad? Para ocuparla, lo que yo les compartí. Okay, so can I have a couple of volunteers to read the conversation, please? Couple of volunteers to read the conversation. Don't be shy, okay? Okay, thank you, Wendy. Ayúdeme con Mayumi. And necesitamos a alguien más, please. Okay, Saúl Arnulfo, ayúdeme con Ben. So you begin, please, okay. Wendy. Mm -hmm. Okay, good evening. Okay. Um, okay. What's your favorite club, Ben? The sub club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside. My favorite my favorite club. I like it because it always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it's just opening a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern and lots of fashionable people go there. Um, it's called the Casablanca. All right, it's the, the newest, newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? Uh, so you never ask. Very good. Thank you so much, uh, Saul and Wendy. Very kind. Can we have a couple of volunteers, you know, extra volunteers to read the conversation? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay, you can do it. You can practice. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you're going to help me with Majumi, okay? And we need one more. One more, please. One more. Who else? <clears throat> I need one more volunteer. Uh, if not, I'm going to decide for you. Is that okay? <laughs> thank you, Ana Cecilia, right? Ana Cecilia, thank you so much. Please help me with Ben. Let's begin. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music and it is never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside. My favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Uh, a teacher se, yes. se pronuncia with the why why do you think why ah, ah, okay thank you You're why right. do you think it is so popular well it just opened a few months ago mm -hmm. everything is brand new and modern and a lot of fashionable fashionable and fashionable Repeat. Fashionable. Fashionable. Excellent. Fashionable. People go there. It's called the Casablanca. All right. It is the newest in place. I heard the reason people who there is hood to be seen. Okay, stop. Repeat. I hear. Repeat. I hear. I I hear. The reason. The reason. People go there. People go there. It's just. It's just. To be seen. To be seen. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Exactly. Do you want to go something not so so night? <laughs> you can do it. I thought you'd never ask. 
Very good, girls. Excellent. Claps for you. Okay, you did a great job. Okay, excellent. Y eso, fíjense que es lo que me gusta de, la, de las conversations, porque a veces uno dice palabras, pero como no nos corrigen, ¿verdad? Entonces uno las sigue diciendo igual, ¿verdad? Que a mí me pasaba, me acuerdo yo al principio. Así que, eh, well, whenever you have questions on how to pronounce things, right, uh, you can ask me as well. So, guys, we're going to take some examples from here, okay? And just let me open up here the information that I have from the presentation. I think it was, it is from yesterday. But we're going to review certain words, okay, that we need to know. And this is, I think, I creo que se ve mejor aquí en la, en la que traía yo. But anyways, um, and we have, okay, uh, some examples, okay, about the, uy, creo que se rela, ay, Perdón, será la presentación por, por abrir la otra. Sorry, guys, girl, guys and girls. Uh, aquí está. Bye. Entonces, I'm going to point out certain examples, I mean, certain sentences, okay, for you to see what's going on, okay, with this, with, with, the, with the phrases. The phrases that we were learning, okay, that we will learn, I'm sorry, are these ones. Son estas, look. Okay, this, given reasons. Okay, we're going to learn some sentences to give reasons. And I'm going to share them with you here in the... Uh, ah, perdón, es que estaba leyendo lo que les escribieron ahí. Okay, bye. Right. Entonces, I'm going to share with you the conversation first, and then I'm going to give you the examples, okay? Veamos este primero. Este, and then I'm going to share with you the phrases, okay? So, eh, para que estemos en sintonía. Entonces, these are the phrases, right? That we're going to study right now. <gasps> Chicos, no he tomado la asistencia. Give me one moment. I'm going to take, uh, I mean, I'm going to check attendance. And please just read this information and try to find the sentences in the conversation, okay? <clears throat> so, let's begin. Ana Cecilia Rodríguez de Pérez. Ana Cecilia Rodríguez de Pérez. Ana Cecilia Romero de Domínguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Roberto Domínguez. Uh. Carlos, ¿no? Eh, Cristina Vigail Quintanilla Amador. Present. Thank you. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Daisy Magdalena. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Eduardo Morán Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Madeline Dayana Cerón de Paz. Present. Thank you. María Griselda de la Paz Zamora. Here, teacher. Thank you. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespín. Miguel Arsenio. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Present. Thank you. Sandra Janet Vázquez Cortés. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Saúl Arnulfo Menjibar Crespín. Present, present here. Thank you, Saúl. Eh, Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Present teacher. Thank you, guys. Okay, y si no contestó ahorita, pues vemos al final quién nos hace falta. Don't worry, siempre queda grabado quién está y quién no está. Okay, so as I was saying before, let's take a look at some sentences, okay? Now, the first one is because. Okay, let's take a look at the conversation and we're going to point out the important details. Okay, so let's see. It says, what's your favorite club band? The Soul Club. They have fabu uh, fabulous music, right? And it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. Um, that's funny. There's always a long way outside my favorite club. I like it uh, because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular, right? Well... It just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called Casablanca. All right. 
is the newest in place. I hear the reason uh, people go there is just to be seen. Okay, so this is one expression, okay, that we can use, right? The reason why, okay, the reason over here, this one, the reason people go there is just to be seen, okay? So whenever we use uh, this expression, right, we are talking about um, that, we're talking about reasons, right? So for example, guys, uh, if I ask you, hey guys, um, why do people, why do people go to the movies? Why do people go to the movies? Can you give me one example? Or can you give me a sentence? Why do people go to the movies? This is my question right now. Why do people, chicos, go to the movies? Why do people go to the movies? Uh-huh. People go to the movies, uh huh. What do you think? Because they enjoyed the experience. Because they enjoyed the experience. Very good. What else? Aquí estamos usando una, ya vieron. The reason why people go to the movies, uh huh. ¿Por qué creen que sea otra razón, chicos? The reason why people go to the movies. Ya su compañera nos dio un excelente ejemplo. People go to the movies because they enjoy the experience, right? And what else? ¿Por qué más ir a la gente al cine a ver una película? Why do they go to the movies? To spend time with his family. Very good. Exactly, right? The reason why people go to the movies is to spend, oops, sorry, to spend time with their, with the family, ¿verdad? O también cuando usted quiere decir seres queridos, ¿verdad? Puede decir with their loved ones, con sus seres amados o seres queridos, ¿verdad? Ahí depende cómo usted lo quiera decir. Entonces, uh, the reason why people go to the movies is to spend time with the family or to spend time with their loved ones, right? Very good. The people go to the movies because they enjoy the experience, right? Now, here we have two examples. Y tenemos todas las estructuras que estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Because and the reason that or the reason why, ¿ok? Now, esto, eso lo puede omitir si usted quiere porque puede decir the reason people, the reason people go to the movies. So, yo prefiero decir the reason why people go to the movies is to spend time with the family. Si se fijan, esta de acá no tiene. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Lo omiten. Puede hacerlo, pero yo prefiero agregar. Okay. What about what about this one? Uh, we have the the other one, and I'm going to move over here. Voy a mover al manual so you can see the different structures that we have. I'm going to erase this. Vamos a borrar acá y vamos a irnos a esta sección. Okay. Tenemos because, since, because of. For, right, due to, and the reason that or why. Okay, now let's take a look in here. Vamos a ver ahora los ejemplos, okay? So ya tenemos dos. Look, we have two examples with, one is with because, right? Acá, vamos a ponerlo. Because, y ustedes mismos están armando los ejemplos, que es lo más importante, okay? Y the reason... That, que puede omitirlo, why, también puede omitirlo, ¿verdad? Etc. Now, Marce, when do we use since? Porque since generalmente, no sé si les pasa, pero ustedes lo asocian con present perfect. Oh, teacher, I have been, um, I have been in El Salvador, right, since 1999. ¿verdad? Tal vez no es de acá la persona y me dice, oh, you know what? I have been in El Salvador since 1999. Ah, oh, wow, that's a long time. Okay. Now, since, pero aquí dice, since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside the club. Okay. Now, it's a little bit difficult, uh, guys, to give you like, um, darles una 
una interpretación porque a veces, y eso es importante, es algo que yo siempre recomiendo a los estudiantes, vean ustedes, y es el hecho de que nosotros no tenemos que andar eh, traduciendo todo. Traducir es un, ter un término literal, o sea, traducir algo literalmente. A veces no tenemos que, que traducirlo, sino que interpretarlo, buscar el mejo la mejor eh, frase o el equivalente en español, que no necesariamente tiene que ver con la traducción. ¿Verdad? Sino que con la interpretación. Ahora bien, dice, since it's always so packed, packed is full of people, like whenever you go, for example, next week, next week, we are going to have amusement parks, we're going to have festivals, we're going to have fair, and we have the famous CIFCO, right? Do you go to CIFCO? Do you go to the amusement parks on vacations, guys? No, <laughs> you no. know, no, right? It's full. It's packed with people. So, ese, ese adjetivo se, it's perfect for for that uh, for those activities for those festivals, right? So, it's this since it's always packed. ¿Cómo entonces puedo puedo interpretar eso en español? Ya que since ya que siempre está tan lleno. Right? Since it's always so packed, right? We cannot go ahead and, and, and do it, right? Now, look at this. I'm going to send you the link. Le voy a compartir aquí el link de Lingui, okay? Para que ustedes vean las diferentes traducciones que tiene o interpretaciones que tiene since. Por eso es que yo recomiendo Lingui, porque Lingui les da varias opciones para que usted acople o se acople a la interpretación de la palabra como la necesita en el momento. Bye. Entonces, ahora que ya sabemos cómo entender since, ya que, let's go ahead and make a sentence. Ok. I'm going to, I'm going to make one example and then it will be you. Ok. Ustedes van. Ok. So, the first one. Me voy a borrar acá. So since, verdad? Since, <coughs> oops, sorry. Since the holiday is coming, right? Um, since the holiday is coming, I will stay. I will stay at my parents' house, right? Uy, perdón, my parents' house. Ay, me encantaría poder hacer eso, pero, well, I'm a grown-up. <laughs> ya soy adulta, así que I have to do it. Okay, and now I have the family. I am in charge of, you know, the holiday, right? So, um, it says, uh, like that, like that, Mimi, you know, like, like the Mimi that says, Mamá no quiere ir a la escuela, y luego le dice, Hija, pero tú eres la maestra, you have to go, right? So, it says, uh, since, since the holiday is coming, I will stay at my parents' house, right? Como viene ya el, el holiday, so I'm going to stay, I'm, I will stay at my parents' house. No voy para allá, because I think it's the best, the best option for me, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and create more examples. Vamos a hacer más, okay? Can you give me, guys, one example with, with sins? One more with sins. <clears throat> Dígame, Dayana. For example, I always read a book one time on more since I was a child. Ah, okay, okay. But esa, esa que usted me acaba de dar, ese, 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 esa interpretación sería desde, ¿ok? Desde que estoy chiquita, pero la interpretación que estamos usando ahorita es ya que, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en mi oración digo, ya que eh, la vacación viene, ¿verdad? Ya que la vacación viene, me voy a quedar en la casa de mis papás, ya que, right Su oración está muy, muy bien, but it's a different meaning, right? And the meaning that we have here is different. Entonces, Marce, ¿por qué estamos usando since con esta lista? Porque since nos ayuda 
a también dar, dar, dar razones, ¿verdad? Ah, you know what? Yo puedo decir lo siguiente, chicos. Perfectamente yo puedo venir y decir esto. Mire, I will stay at, uy, perdón, at my parents' house, oh, perdón, house, since, coma, perdón, lo cierto acá, coma, since the holiday is coming. ¿Ok? Creo que aquí va la coma, aquí no. Sí, así es. Since the holiday is coming, I will stay at my parents' house. I will stay at my parents' house since the holiday is coming. ¿Ok? Entonces, si usted se fija en la segunda forma, ya cuando yo paso since en la segunda cláusula, entonces ahí tiene más sentido porque me ayuda a dar reasons. Si yo digo, I will stay at my parents' house, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué me voy a quedar en la casa de mi papá? Ah, since the holiday is coming, I will go there. Me voy para allá porque ya viene el holiday, ¿verdad? Así de que, now, let's try one more time. Ahora vamos a, a intentarlo nuevamente. Can you give me one example? Veamos, Rufino. Uh, since, since my parents are coming, I, I will visit them. Since my parents aren't coming. Are I'm coming. Uh -huh. uh, I will visit, I will visit them. Ah, ya entendí. I'm so sorry. Your parents are coming to El Salvador, right? Uh-huh. Ah, okay. Since my parents are, are coming, coming to El Salvador. Ah, are coming. Correct. Thank you. Since my parents are coming to El Salvador, I will visit them. Muy bien. Excellent. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? I will visit my parents. I mean, I will visit my parents since they're coming to El Salvador. Muy bien. Okay. So, what about you, Dayana? What is your... Y luego, María Griselda. Okay. I always practicing my speaking English since I need to improve it. Okay, very good. I okay. Ay, espérame. Since we well, empezar acá. Since I need to improve my my English, right? Um, I practice a lot. Así lo diría yo. I practice a lot. Muy, muy buena, muy buena este idea. Since I need to improve my English, I practice a lot or I am practicing a lot, right? I am practicing a lot. Muy bien, okay? Y luego, ¿y por qué? Porque estás practicando un montón. Ah, since I need to improve my English, you know, I need to, I need, I need to practice a lot. So what about you, Griselda? Muy bien. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, since my sister is birthday, I will buy a gift. Okay, pero decimos since it's my sister's. Since it's my sister. Mm -hmm. Birthday, muy bien. Right, I'll buy a present for her, right? Puede yes. decir present o puede decir gift. Cualquiera de las okay. dos. Yo prefiero present. Uh -huh. I will buy, okay. uy, I will buy a present for her. Right? Okay. Es lo que pasa cuando hacemos, eh, cuando hacemos ejercicios en vivo y en directo. Right? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, since it's my sister's birthday, I will buy a present for her. Good job, okay? That's a good example. What about you, Ana Cecilia? Okay, since... Tomorrow is Saturday. Mm -hmm. I have to go to the supermarket. Excellent. Okay, good job. Okay. okay, since tomorrow it's Saturday, I have to go to the supermarket. Okay. Okay. Muy bien. Good job. Aha, ¿quién me está dibujando? Vamos a borrar. Espérense. Ahí está. Okay, so we have here since tomorrow it's Saturday. Since tomorrow is, pardon, since tomorrow is, is Saturday, I have to go to the supermarket. Very good. Okay, uh, Byron, what about you? Luego Cecilia de Pérez. Since it's my graduation, mm -hmm. I will do a graduation dinner. Okay, since. Since it's my graduation, right? I'll um I'm sorry, can you repeat one more time? I think se me olvidó la otra parte. 
I will do a graduation dinner. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, since it's my graduation, I'll, yo lo diría así, mire. I'll celebrate it. I'll celebrate it. Ah, uh -huh, I'll celebrate it with a dinner, okay? A dinner okay. with the family, for example, right? With, with family the... and mm -hmm. friends. And friends. Yes. Muy bien, okay? Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Since it's my graduation, I'll celebrate it with 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 a dinner or with dinner with my family. Quizás no voy a quitar el A, no lo necesito. With dinner with the family and friends. Muy bien. Cecilia de Pérez. Okay, teacher. Sign is very hard in my house. I will go to the mountain. Okay, since it's very hot in my house. I'll go to the mountains. Muy bien. Yo creo que yo también voy a hacer lo mismo. I'll go to the mountains, okay? Very good. Yes, así he hecho un calor. Qué, qué, qué barbaridad. So, since it's very hot in my house, I'll go to the mountains, right, for the holiday. For the holiday. Very good. Vaya, chicos, me, me parece excelente. Lo han hecho súper bien. Los ejemplos están estos de since. Yo sé que no me detuve con estos porque yo sé que ustedes saben usar o al menos tienen una idea de cómo usar because. Este también, pues, el solito eh, funciona, ¿verdad? Y, y se entiende, the reason why, ¿verdad? Pero este since, it's a little bit different. That's why I needed to take, uh, you know, some time. Then the other one, the one that we have, okay, it's this one, right? We have because of. It's popular because of the fashionable people. Now, because of también siempre es, pues, es similar, ¿verdad? Pero si yo uso because of, después, si usted se fija, viene un noun. Viene un, un nombre, ¿verdad? Because of you, because of the, because of the holiday, ¿verdad? Vamos, le voy a dar un ejemplo yo, ¿ok? Uy, perdón. Eh, que se me hizo el, el manual. Aquí está. Because of, ¿verdad? It's popular because of the fashionable people. I can say something like, um, today there was a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic because of the holiday that is coming, right? Okay, or uh, today there was a lot of traffic because of the accident, for example, because of the accident, right? Entonces, así es como lo, lo vamos a, a, a usar, ¿verdad? Because of. Luego del because of, viene un, 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 un nombre, una actividad, algo que, que se ha hecho, ¿verdad? ¿De acuerdo? Vale, entonces vamos ahora eh, con la otra. Ya vamos a ver si necesitamos ejemplos de esta. La última es due to. Marce, ¿y cómo usamos due to? First, what is the meaning of due to, right? <laughs> due to, guys, eh, eh, it's, how can I say it? Um, it's very similar to Spanish. Es bien similar a español, okay? Y es debido a. That's it. Debido a. That's what it means, right? Debido a, and then, eh, give me one second. Ok, pensé que era ustedes, pero es el grupo de los teachers. Ok, entonces, eh, I was saying, right, be, due to is different because um, it, usamos debido a, lo usamos como debido a. If, if I can, let me see if I can send you something from here porque no me funciona, no, no me está funcionando el buscador aquí. Eh, pero don't worry. Todo se, se puede solucionar. Veamos to, to usage. Y le voy a mandar el, el con que se usa. Due to is for, it's formal, guys. Es bien formal, okay? And it's a little bit different, okay, from the, from the rest, ¿verdad? Fíjense, chicos, que no sé qué está pasando, que incluso no entiendo ni cómo es que estoy en la meeting con ustedes porque no me carga nada, 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 pero nada, nada, solo, solo la reunión. I don't know what's going on. Vale, les debo esa entonces. <clears throat> so, entonces, voy a explicar acá. Due to, ¿verdad? Due to the crowds, 
de Casa Blanca es difficult to get into. Entonces, Marce, ¿con qué uso due to? Due to lo van a usar igual que because of. Lo van a usar con un now. ¿Ok? Vamos a darles ejemplos. ¿Ok? Eh, ay, por ejemplo, lo mismo. Sigamos hablando de la vacación, que yo creo que a todos están emocionados porque ya viene, ¿verdad? Due to the holiday. Ah, due to the holiday. ¿Ok? Um, I will postponed, right, postponed my appointment, my appointment with the doctor, right? Debido a, due to the holiday, I will postpone my appointment with the doctor. Dígame, Saul. Uh, only I had an example. Ah, okay, tell me. Okay, uh, due to the pandemic, we received online classes. Uh -huh. Due to the pandemic, pandemic, we began. We received. Okay. I would say we began with online classes. Online classes. Okay. O due to the pandemic, digamos que estamos en ese momento, ¿verdad? O, este, o, o digamos en pasado, digamos en pasado. Due to the pandemic, uh, we began uh, receiving cla online classes. Ahí sí, bah, hoy sí. Due to the pandemic, we began receiving online classes. Muy bien. Good job. Solo, chicos, cuidado con la pronunciación, ¿verdad? No, no tiene que activar su micrófono, pero repita. Se dice due to. Due, due to. to. No es due, es due to. Due, due. to. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Due to the holiday, or due to the holiday, I will postpone my appointment with the doctor. Right? Entonces, that's, those are the ones that I needed to explain before. Necesitaba explicarlos, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes eh, pudieran saber cómo lo van a utilizar. ¿Alguna pregunta, chicos? Questions? Se lo puede... Mire, les diría que les se los comparto, pero como les cuento, I don't know what's going on. Es un misterio ahorita la, la compu, el internet y todo aquí en mi casa. I don't know what's going on. Así de que si gustan después de la clase les voy a mandar yo lo que he estado compartiendo porque no, no me carga nada. I'm sorry. Y tengo miedo de tocar algo y que se nos perdamos la conexión y no, 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 no. Eh, bye. Entonces, here we have this section y pues ahí, ahí cierro ya con eso, ¿verdad? Eh, now, let's go. Oh, dígame, eh, Rufino. Uh, and I have, uh, I have a, a question. Uh -huh. is, uh, and uh, do to y because of uh, I I think in the same significate y meaning meaning igual, equal, meaning meaning es significado meaning meaning uh -huh. the same uh, I can I can I can to use because of or or do to Correcto. And the, I can for use. The, for the same, the same sentences. Yes, I think so. There was a lot, okay. of, a lot of traffic due to the holiday that is coming. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Very good observation, Rufino. But that you can go okay. ahead and, and use them interchangeably. Muy bien, ok. Solo recordemos esto, Rufino. Cuando usamos can, no le agregamos el tú, ¿verdad? Eh, sino que es, por ejemplo, can use. No can to use, ok. No, no to. Can use. Uh -huh. los, okay. todos los, todos los, you. los, you're welcome todos los modal verbs guys todos los verbos modales como can, would um, eh, ay, ¿cuál es el otro? Good. Uh, ajá, exactly should, esos siempre van con una forma base del verbo, así que no tiene que agregarles nada más, ¿verdad? así que excelente chicos, good job on this one, voy a, sí, mejor voy a guardar esto, no va a ser que lo perdamos porque son sus ejemplos y no los quiero perder eh, I'm going to probably leave it here voy a pasar esto para acá para que no se vea ahí todo el desorden que tengo <risa> vaya, ahí está eh, vamos a ponerlo acá, class today is class number five pre avanzado tenemos. bueno, ok, so Now we're going to move, guys. There you have more exercises, pero desafortunadamente, pues no es algo que nos alcance como a, que nos que podamos como cubrir a veces, verdad? But here you have also uh, section number three, which is that's a possibility, right? That's a possibility. Um, do you know what a pet peeve is, guys? Do you know what pet peeves are? 
Any idea? What is the meaning of pet peeve? Have you ever heard about this word before? What is a pet peeve? Es eso, right? What's that? Do you know? Busque ahí en lingüe, busque su diccionario. What's a pet peeve? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Molestias. Exactly. Things that make you feel annoyed. Things that annoyed you. Right? That, uh, you say, uh, right? I don't like this. Okay? Pet peeves. Okay? So, here you have uh, some questions, right? Why is it that some people are always late? Or why is it that some people never return phone calls or answer emails? Why is it that some people don't listen carefully when you talk to them, right? <laughs> no sé si se han quejado de alguna de esas cosas, pero why is it that some people act differently in front of people they want to impress? Why is that some people always look messy, right? Why is that some people... Uh, never remember to return things. Um, why is that some people are always short of money? Why is that some people never know <laughs> when to go home and get off the phone? Se les voy a mandar la foto porque no. Ahí lo tienen ustedes en su manual, pero como les digo, estoy pero que no puedo hacer nada con la compra. Entonces, uh, these are very good questions, guys. Mati, alguno de ustedes se ha de haber preguntado yes, algo de eso. Ah, you see, obviously. I have also my, my pet peeves, okay? So, pet pet tell pet me. Pet peeves, pet yes, pet peeves, pet okay? Pet, pet peeves. So, pet peeves. there are certain behaviors, right, that you are like, mm. because if you wake up early, right, you have a meeting and you are there, and the person, the chair, the chairperson, who is the person in charge of the meeting, arrives late, and you are like, right? I woke, I woke up very early. I took a shower. I got ready, and then the person in charge of the meeting arrives late, mm -mm, right? And there are some people that you know, um, they have those pet peeves. They are like, mm, no. I don't like that. I get angry or it makes me feel annoyed, right? Now over here, there's a conversation, right? And it's a conversation between Jackie and Bill, okay? Now take a look at, uh, at the picture, right? So what do you think it's happening? Don't read the conversation. What do you think it's happening on the picture? Look. Mm -hmm. it's, um, time to <laughs> Tal vez si levantan la manita porque creo que hablaron unos, unos, unos y otros al mismo tiempo. Para que podamos escuchar. Raise your hand. Levante su mano si, si, si me quiere ayudar, ¿ok? Dígame, Dayana, y luego Carlos. I guess they are waiting for someone. Good, good guess, right? Seems like they're waiting for someone. Thank you. What about you, Carlos? Uh, me too. Um, barbecue. Barbecue. Yes, they're having a barbecue, right? Seems that uh, there's a meeting. Look, look here. Yes. We have people, right? So... Uh, yes, thank you so much. Good. Now, let's go ahead and take a take a look at the conversation. I will read it first, okay? Yo la leo primero y luego van ustedes, okay? So, first, we have Act 1 and Act 2, right? Act 1, okay? So, Jackie says, hey, you asked Bess to come here around 7, didn't you? Right? Uh, yes. What time is it now? It's almost 8. I wonder what happened. Hmm, she might have forgotten the time. Why don't why don't I call and see if she's on her way? And then a few minutes later, right? So we have second act, right? And it says, I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her cat could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess uh, we would start without her. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the vocabulary. Do you have questions about the vocabulary in the conversation, guys? Questions about the vocabulary words? 
Okay, difficult words, some difficult words to pronounce, but let's go ahead and get a couple of volunteers, okay, to read the conversation. Uh, Madeline, and quien más? And Maria Griselda, okay. Madeline, uh, you begin with uh, Jackie, and Griselda, you continue with Bill. Okay, I will start. You asked Beth to be here around seven, didn't you? Yes, what time is it now? It's almost eight. I wonder what happened. Mm, she might have forgotten the time. Why, why don't I call and see if she's on her way? A few minutes later, I got her voice mail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on time, Rob. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just called to her about, about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. Very good job. Okay, thank you girls for helping me with the conversation. Do we have a couple of other volunteers that would like to read? Good job. Me gustó la parte. Pronunciaron la mayoría de palabras muy bien. Despacito, pero es algo que también deben considerar, ¿verdad? Yo siempre les digo a los estudiantes, chicos, hablar bien o hablar, ap ap aprender a ser fluent o fluidez no significa hablar rápido, ¿ok? Fluidez significa que empecemos nosotros a platicar, a hablar, ¿verdad? Y que nuestras ideas vayan teniendo secuencia, aunque usted hable, hable despacio. No confundamos fluidez con rapidez, ¿verdad? Así que muy bien hecho. Uh, Rufino, ¿y quién más, please? ¿Alguien más? I need one more volunteer. Si no, no, pues yo le ayudo, no se preocupe. Ahí está, Cecilia de Pérez, ¿ok? Entonces, Cecilia, ayúdeme con Jackie y Rufino, ayúdeme con Bill, please. Okay, you asked Beth to be here around seven, did you? Oh, stop, stop, repeat. Uh, you asked Beth, repeat, to be here around. You asked Beth to be here around seven, did you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Muy bien, continue. Yes, what time is it now? It's all, almost a. I I wonder what happened. Mm -hmm. mm, she might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? A few minutes later, I, I got her voicemail. So she must not have turned off her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car call have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else, else, else today. No, she called having forgotten. I, stop. Just... I will stop you there. Eh, me agregó el negativo en haven't y es en couldn't. Repeat. No, she couldn't have forgotten. No, she couldn't have forgotten. Good. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we shall start with how her. Very good. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, one thing that I have to remind you, okay, is that whenever you use the, the, the module would, should, or could, ¿qué pasa con estos que llevan esta L, chicos? Esta L en inglés es silent. O sea, es muda, no se escucha. Entonces, aquí es would, aquí es should, y aquí es could, ¿ok? 
So we do not uh, pronounce the letter L. Y nuevamente, la palabra just. Okay? Just. Okay? Don't forget that word too. Very good. So what are we going to learn from here, guys? We're going to learn a little bit about past models for degrees or of certainty. Eh, fíjense que este tema es bonito y me gusta porque aquí se lo resume y le da las frases. Okay? El tema la verdad es que es bien extenso, pero this is what you need. Esto es lo que usted necesita para saber cómo usar esa parte de models. And how do we use it? ¿Cómo lo usamos? Ay, no, chicos, no me funciona nada. Bye. Denme un momentito, denme un momentito. Solo déjeme chequear aquí el, el router. Give me one moment. Thank you, Alice. I'm back. I don't know what's going on, pero. Ah, the link. Espérenme. What link? Perdón, ya me confundí. <laughs> Which link? El link del traductor, teacher. Ah, no, no, no. Eh, les iba a pasar, pero las, las imágenes. No, el link del traductor lo tienen en WhatsApp. O lo necesita usted, okay. perdón. No, es que este, no lo entendí bien, es que ah. eh, yo entendí que usted no iba a mandar el link, no, no. pero si ya está en el WhatsApp, pues de ahí lo... Ah, sí, sí, no, pero yo me refiero a que yo les quería mandar lo que está en pantalla aquí. Espérame. A ver, lo voy a intentar. Creo que ya cargó. No, ¿dónde están? Aquí están. Bye. ¿Cómo estás? Son los ejemplos que vimos hoy. Bueno, se lo voy a dejar así mejor. Because the reason why. Ah, sí, mira, ya, ya está cargando la información. Y since, ¿verdad? Que son los que ustedes hicieron, ¿verdad? And these ones, ¿verdad? Because of, ¿verdad? And the reminder of these words. Yay, ya funciona. Ok, ahí está. And this one, okay? Over here. Bye. Entonces, um, bye. we have different, okay, um, three, three, three options, okay? We have three options. So the first option, and I'm going to erase all of these from my uh, notepad, okay? It says, must have left, must have not turned on. Vaya. Chicos, with this one, I really need you to pay attention to the different elements that you need. Okay? Porque aquí lo que, lo que es clave son los elementos que necesitan, right? And the way you're going to uh, leave them, right? In, in, the, in the sentence and organize them so you can have your own sentences, right? So we have the first one, it's almost certain, okay? So you digo, it's almost certain is because I am sure, right, about it. So if you go back here in the conversation, okay, she says, she no, she couldn't have forgotten. Habla con una seguridad, Jackie? No, she couldn't have forgotten. No pudo haber olvidado porque I just talked to her about it yesterday. Si yo con ella hablé ayer and I told her that we have the barbecue today. So she couldn't have forgotten, right? But over here, right, whenever we talked about levels of certainty, ¿verdad? Niveles de certeza, levels of certainty, sometimes we have ones that are 100, well, 
uh, almost 100% sure and ones that just express a possibility. So if I say it's almost certain, right, she must have left already. And why do you say that? Uh, because she always, you know, um, she always sleeps on time. Ella no se queda minutos extra, so she must have left already, right? For example, uh, you called your mom. You call your mom and your mom doesn't answer. <laughs> Qué raro, ¿verdad? Your mom doesn't answer, okay? You call her and call her, llama por teléfono and she doesn't answer or she doesn't pick up the phone. And you said, hmm, she must have, she must have um, left, right, the cell phone. Digamos que su mamá sí le contesta, ¿verdad? Cuando usted le llama, porque hay otras que le llama, llama y no contesta, right? So she must have left. She must have left her, uh, her cell phone. Quítale aquí. Okay? Entonces, and why do you say that? ¿Por qué dices eso? Ah, because I know my mom. I know her and I know that she always, always picks up the phone when I call her. So she always answers. So she must have less left, I'm sorry, her cell phone at home, right? Ah, okay. Entonces, cuando yo tengo ese nivel de certeza en lo que yo estoy diciendo, voy a usar esta. Must have left or must have eh, en negativa, ¿verdad? Must not have turned on her cell phone, right? Que de hecho, esto también nos sirve, ¿verdad? Ah, ¿por qué no me contesta mi mamá? Ah, because she must not have turned on her cell phone. No lo encendió mi mami. Puchica, mano. No me contestó, right? And it was important, right? Entonces, um, this is the first scenario. Well, I will give you another example. Uh, let me see. Let me think. Let's say that uh, you have a meeting, okay? You have a meeting with a friend, okay? And you are going to meet at Metro Centro, okay? And you wait and wait and wait and the person never arrives. So guys, what would you think? ¿Qué pensaría usted? I mean, you have a meeting with a friend and the friend never arrives. So what comes to your mind? ¿Qué se le viene a la mente? For example, in my case, a mí si ya, yo tengo una reunión con una amiga, o una, bueno, una amiga, que en este caso, mi mejor amiga, right? si ella no llega, obvio me voy a preocupar. Lo primero que se me va a venir a la mente es, he must, uh, she, porque es mi mejor amiga. She must, she must have had an, uh, an emergency, right? Right? Why? Because I know her. Yo la conozco y sé que ella, aunque llega tarde, siempre, ¿verdad? Pero llega. Okay? Entonces, she must have had an emergency. Or she must have a... Well, o tal vez el carro, porque a veces eso es lo que pasa. Her car must have, uh -huh, must have um, broken, right? Down. Okay, se le arruinó el carro. That's why, right? Then we have the other one. When it is not possible. Cuando no es posible. No, no. Mm -mm. she couldn't have been at home, right? So this one is when it's not possible. Cuando usted dice, no, esto no es posible. No me digan lo contrario porque yo sé. Yeah, so, so that's not possible. Um, Let's say that I am with my husband, ¿verdad? Si estoy con mi esposo esperando a mi amiga, ¿verdad? En ese lugar. Y me dice él, mm, ah, quizás se le olvidó. Maybe she forgot it. And I tell him, no. Right? She couldn't. She couldn't have forgotten the meeting or uh, this uh, meeting, right? No, yo la conozco, ella es super super responsible, so she could have she couldn't have forgotten this meeting. Something happened to her. Algo le pasó. Let's go ahead and find it out. Entonces, cuando yo sé que algo no es posible, I I use couldn't have más un uh, verbo en participio. Y la última, que es cuando it's possible. Mm, pero it's possible es aquel que pueda que sí, 
pueda que no. Hay una posibilidad. ¿Ok? ¿Cuáles son los que tengo? Prácticamente son similares, ¿verdad? She may, might, have. Negativo. She may, might not have. Y could have. ¿Verdad? Entonces, it's possible. I can say, oh, you know what? She may have had something to do at work. ¿Sabes qué? Quizás ha de haber tenido, ¿verdad? Algo que hacer en el trabajo. And that's why she didn't come. Well, it's a possibility. Es una posibilidad. No sabemos hasta que se comunique con nosotros. But it's a possibility. She may have had something to do at work. And that's why she didn't come. Right? Or you know what? A probably she may have may have um puede usar mate or might recuerde no o sea no importa aquí puede ser cualquiera de los dos she might not have um she might not she might not have a ay cómo se dice she might not have uh, finished her shift quizás no sabes qué Quizás no había terminado su, su turno aún. Todavía está trabajando. That's why she's not here. It's possible. Puede que sí, puede que no, right? Ok. Y could have, que es la misma que ya vimos en la otra, pero es, es, en este caso es afirmativa. You know what? She could have um, visited her mom first. ¿Sabes qué? Quizás visitó primero a su mamá y hasta después va a venir acá. Entonces, she could have visited her mom first. Y después va a venir aquí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, these are the different expressions, guys. Esas son las expresiones que tenemos, ¿verdad? Para eh, eh, usar eh, models with levels of certainty. ¿Ok? Espero que haya quedado un poquito claro. Yo sé que pues son varias, ¿verdad? Pero como les digo, me gusta aquí en el libro porque nos da lo que necesitamos saber. No tenemos que ir a uh, estudiar todo el resto de información, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí les compartí en el, en el chat los ejemplos. Entonces, ¿qué les recomiendo? Check just the, 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 the elements. Chequemos los elementos. Must have past participle. Must not have past participle. Couldn't have past participle. Might have past participle. Might not have past participle. Could have past participle. That's all what you need to know. Okay? Chicos, I'm going to stop here because of the time. Eh, no se preocupen que esto lo vamos a ver. El, el, yo entiendo, chicos, estén pendientes porque yo entiendo que el lunes tenemos clase. El lunes hay clase. Entonces, este, solo estemos pendientes, no vayan a faltar, aunque sea de oyente, allá en la playa con la arena ahí en las, las chancletas, pero aunque sea de oyente, vea. Y si no, pues así como le va a tocar a mí, a su servidora, vea, aquí en la casita, entonces conéctese, no vaya a faltar, ¿ok? Ahí le van a estar confirmando, me imagino, yo entiendo que va a haber clase el lunes, pero esperemos ahí la confirmación, así que no se vaya a... a pues a perder la clase. Vamos a estudien esto porque quisiera que la, el lunes eh, ustedes me dieran más ejemplos, que ustedes lo practicaran, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, I'm going to just uh, pass the attendance, solo los que me faltan. Ana Cecilia Rodríguez de Pérez. <coughs> Ana Cecilia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Roberto Domínguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespi. Present teacher. Good. Excelente, chicos. Todos se presentan a su clase. Los felicito. Guys, thank you very much for joining today. Let's meet on Monday, el lunes, ¿verdad? Si Dios lo permite, vamos a revisar ahí okay, siempre teacher. WhatsApp. Y okay. have a good okay. night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye bye, guys. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Thank you, you too, guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. 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 bye.